Hey, this is Justin, you're watching wingsound.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Elastic Audio in Pro Tools 8. Now, Elastic Audio is great because you can analyze your audio file, and let's say it's a snare or a kick, you can really fix up all your little region groups with the warp feature in the Elastic Audio, and you could also use Elastic Audio as an effect and really stretch out your audio, get some really cool sounds. Let's check it out. Okay, so to get to your Elastic Audio plugin, you go over here on your track, and you click it, and there's your Elastic Audio plugins. You have Polyphonic, Rhythmic, mono, Monophonic, and Very Speed. Polyphonic for more complex web waveforms. Rhythmic for rhythmic waveform, like a drum loop or snare hits, kick hits. Monophonic for a simpler one. And Very Speed is kind of like random. They all have different effects on how the audio is, you know, expanded or compressed. And then after that, you want to go over here and choose analysis so what it does is it makes all these analysis markers where it thinks the beat is and you know you can change that if by your grid mode you know if you want less or more or it's not lining up right but usually pro tools does a good job of doing it to move them around you just drag your cursor over and you get these little arrows right here and you can move them around if you want to delete one just go over to it and right click and remove or if you want to add one you could also do the same or you could hit control and you see the little hand with a plus and wherever you click it, it makes analysis marker okay so now we're gonna look at is the properties and you go to regions and elastic properties and in this window now you can change the BPMs of it just for like real quick if you know what you want if you know what you want to change the loop to you can just as you can see it's moving as I move the BPMs you know change it if you know you know or you could type it in and then we have one that's half it's a this little half right here and it halves it make speeds it up or you can add and slow it down just to make real quick adjustments you can change the source tempo you can also change the meter and the event se sensitivity over here, it changes the number of analysis markers. As you can see, they're going away. And you could also change the input gain to make it less. And you could change the pitch as well. Okay, so now what you can do is you can quantize those analysis markers. And what you want to do is do option zero. And here's your quantize window Close up, comes up. And over here, elastic audio events. And you could change the grid type and, you know, add other things to it, the swing, the strength. And they just hit apply. And as you can see, it quantized the audio to whatever I set my grid to. And one thing, when you're working with elastic audio, in your regions menu as you can see the file that I'm working on it has the little elastic audio icon so it's not it you know so you know that that file is is in use with the elastic audio okay so so once you have your analysis markers down and you have you added or subtracted whatever ones you want you want to go to warp over here and now warp is where the where the elastic audio really comes into play because what you can do is all these markers you can drag them around you can drag them around and stretch or compress your audio as you can see so if you have some snare hit that's a little off time you can click on it drag it or compress it whatever you need to do to fix up your hits or you can use this as an effect which is really cool so let's just say and once you start expanding or compressing your audio it'll turn red because it's basically showing that like pro tool saying that like you shouldn't be doing that but it, you can create some really cool effects with that you know chop up your audio get some real cool glitch effects like let's listen to this So you can really like warp your audio really cool, you know, and you have some milliseconds you can add on how long it lasts, you know. So if I do it, see it lasted longer than before. 
you know and then if you go to rhythmic you know it does it as a decay rate so if you're doing some snare hits or something and you move them around you can you know change the decay rate so it doesn't like warp out long and it you know sounds very natural so let's just hear this with like a really long decay as you can hear that it's you know it's like very rhythmic sounding Yeah, you know, this is really cool. You could put it on your two-track, fin you know, your finished track and just warp the hell out of it. Monophonic, you don't really have any options to mess with it, but, you know, it gives it different feels and different sounds. And various speed, same thing. You don't really have any options for that one. But, you know, again, different feels and speeds and the way it processes the audio. Really cool. You get some really cool effects with that. <clears throat> now, what you can do is it's in real time processing, which means your CPU is being used to process this audio. So what you could do is you could render the processing and it creates, you know, a new file. So and it's saved to your rendered folders in your session folder. So now the, the computer doesn't have to process that audio. You know, it's already processed, so it frees up CPU power. Then one thing you can do if you want to make a, a whole new audio track, you can disable the elastic audio and then this screen pops up and then you commit to it. Or you can revert back to your original audio if you don't like what you did. So it com you know, I committed to it and it created a whole new audio file which shows up in the regions menu. See as, and this is the new name, you know, 80 BPM vary. Oh, okay, so to get to your Elastic Audio plugin, you go over here in your track, and you click it, and there's your Elastic Audio plugin. Yeah. You can always get in touch with Justin at Winksound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at Winksound.com.